Hello and welcome, my name is Grant Webster and I'm the Electrical Product Manager for the Electrical Design Suite Solution. So today what we're going to talk about is how you can make adjustments to your protection curves from ProDesign within the protection settings and even replace devices in case you've got the wrong devices in there. So in this example I'm going to select this board, I'm going to hit F4 and I'm going to pick a load at random and select OK. What they'll do, update the calculations and it will generate this. So in here I've got two BS88 fuses, one for the main distributor here and then one for the main supply here. Well actually I don't want those to be fuses, I actually want them to be a particular breaker type. So over here we can see that the source is a 500 amp load, we've got a 32 amp breaker and we've got 125. So knowing that information already, I'm going to replace that device. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select a different device. So First off, um, for the 125 amp load, I actually want it to be a Type D um, MCB for this, and I'm going to select 125. So here you can see the device has really changed quite quickly and fairly instantaneous. So I've now managed to change that device, which is good. But actually, what I want to be able to do is also re I want to, be able to replace this device and then actually do some edits to it as well when I do it. So I'm going to come into here and I'm going to actually put an MCB in. I'm actually going to pick a quite a complicated MCB for this example. So I'm going to select this one here, and I'm going to select a 630, and then I'll wind it down to 500 to deal with the RB ratings here. So again, here I've made the adjustments, and you can see I've replaced the device, and I'm aware of that. So now I want to do some edits now. As I was showing earlier, you can either replace the device here or you can use the edit. Or what I've been using when showing this video is I've been using a right click and I've been bringing up this uh, window to make the changes. So I'm going to hit edit keypad over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the selectivity so I don't have that clash with that particular item there. So that resolves that issue. And also, as I said earlier, I wanted to adjust this down, one this back down to 500. So I can make the adjustments that way. So there I've winded it down two more. So for this particular breaker, I can only get to 504, which is probably close enough for what I need to do. But you can make a number of different adjustments for this to kind of deal with how you want the breaker to work for your particular top. Once I click OK, that applies it in. So if I rerun the calculations now, that will reconsider that in terms of the calculations. So I've actually created a few more errors in this example. If I hit the protect study again, Again, I can pick any device, so I'm just going to pick a different device this time. Fairly similar in what's been selected there. And you can see how the curves are regenerated. Hopefully that's quite useful for you, so you don't have to go into individual items and make adjustments. You can do everything from here. Thank you for watching. To request a demo or learn more about Trimble MEP products, visit us at mep.trimble.com or find the right link for you in the description. Thanks for watching.